Uh, we're out here on Dominion property with, uh, with people and vehicles from Nephron. All that, this is a purely volunteer effort between Dominion and Nephron. The people you see working here, giving the shots, there's doctors at the other end and people giving the shots here are all volunteers. There's, there's no, no government action, no government pay involved. The only part the government plays is that the vaccine is free, uh, courtesy of the taxpayers. But this is a perfect example of what we call Team South Carolina about our people who will work together, we know each other, we trust each other, and we're willing to work together for the good of our people. And I want to thank and congratulate Lou Kennedy of Nephron and Kelly Kassam of Dominion and my wife Peggy, First Lady Peggy, for being here, for participating in this event today to spread the word about what can be done by our people when they, are, when they want to get to work. This is a perfect example, great progress, and I'm sure that this will encourage others around the state to do the same thing. Ms. Kennedy. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. We are super happy to um, have all these folks be able to be vaccinated here. I had the idea on an afternoon. The first person I called was our governor and said, do you think this is a viable option to help others? And he said, let's, let's get working on it. So I called Keller at Dominion next, and within 24 hours we had power out here to be able to keep the vaccine chilled and to offer a place for our folks to get in and out of inclement weather. And uh, then we were able to get the cones donated and the sign donated. All of this is a community effort. And I really want to offer up a call to arms. I called Dominion and they were on it in no time. I think we can do a lot of things for the good in the private sector. We want to help the government. We want to help take some stress and strain off of the hospitals and clinics. And this is an example of doing just that. And I hope to see this in the private sector across the whole state. Again, I'll copy the governor and saying, this is the best of Team South Carolina. And I want to ask if Keller has something to say for us. Well, thank you. I just followed the lead of these two individuals. First of all, Governor McMaster. Anytime we have a storm that comes into South Carolina and it takes different forms, we work with him and his team and under his leadership. So when the call came in for this, we jumped to it. And I appreciate my lineman who came out here and temporarily rigged up all of this electric construction you see in order to make this possible. In addition to that, Lou Kennedy, what a wonderful neighbor Nephron has been, and nobody knows the depths that they have responded to COVID-19 and changing their productivity. So with leadership like that, how could we not aggressively want to be a part of this movement? And so now that we have set the stage, what we want to do is spread the word. This is a great site. It comes through quickly and efficiently. So everyone out there who wants to get a vaccine, register, come out here. We'll welcome you with open arms and we'll get you out here as quickly as we can. Thank you so much to my employees and certainly to this leadership and Team South Carolina. And, and, and for those of us who are not familiar with registering to, for things over the internet, it can be accomplished right here on site. We've learned a, a, lot, of our, a lot of our older people are, don't know how to work it, but they, we can be done right here. You can sign up here. Are there any questions? Are you asking about testing or vaccinations? So what? That, yes, they are. The, the, the National Guard is involved in that. Also, we have 609 uh, pharmacies that are coming online. I think there are probably less than 200 so far that actually have the vaccine and given shots. We have the federally qualified health centers that are in those rural areas. Also, we, we have we can have set up sites uh, like this. Well, uh, vaccinated people from far away is 40 miles. They've come yeah. from North Augusta and others. So we we can welcome uh, rural um, citizens from even from this site. And if they had had such a site in Charleston at the uh, at the airport, because there's little traffic among in the airplanes, they opened up the parking lot, and I I think it was the MUSC set up a site a site there, and there were people from three or four counties coming there. So we're looking for ways to get in to the rural areas as well as the, the high density places where we can really, really churn them out. But you don't have to go someplace close to home. You can register most any place. It, some place is convenient and go there. Governor, talk about why this is a great 
important to see this public-private partnership, primarily private, really helping the government out and doing things that need to be done and making it a little wider spread. Well, the government is responsible for public health, but public health depends on everybody. And uh, public health, of course, is emotional health, mental health, economic health, and physical health. This here is, uh, covers actually all, all four of those bases. But the, our effort in this state, Team South Carolina, is we know that the government uh, is not big enough and never will be big enough to do all that needs to be done. That is why in everything we do, we depend on private businesses, private citizens, those who want to lend a hand to jump in and get to work. And that's exactly what Dominion and Nephron have done here. Okay, I'll take the first part. Um, today we are uh, served by the folks that are already on staff at Nephron. We have registered nurses, we have PharmDs, and we, are, um, we also have a volunteer medical doctor that is here on site in case of an adverse event. And so we already employ those folks who are certified to inoculate. And so it was to me a no brainer that we could do this and be a, you know, a help to the already um, hard-working folks at the hospitals, they're treating sick patients and we can just help the well patients, that takes some stress and strain from them. So those folks are already on the staff at our company and so it made a perfect fit. Uh, there's a question about the availability of people to, to do this. Of course, you have to be qualified to give a, a vaccination and everybody is not so qualified. But doctors and nurses are and we started with them, of course, but uh, we, we soon learned that we did not have enough people to participate. So we've contracted with some through the Emergency Management Division. The National Guard has also provided medics. I think they had about 25 medics working in various hospitals at that time. But also this shows why we need to have volunteers. This, this is why uh, this building South Carolina is a team sport and everybody's got to get off the bleachers and out onto the field. And that's what you see here with these volunteers. We've had thousands of volunteers show up participate at sites like this around the state so far. Sometimes they, typically it's a hospital that puts it together. Sometimes it's not like this one, but they call, they show up and they, they come in by the dozens, hundreds, and some go through DHEC to find out where to go. Others, others just go to the sound of the need and participate. So this is something that, that we never will have enough money, enough time. You got to go through a lot of red tape to hire people to come on, but uh, by having volunteers who are already qualified makes it a whole lot easier. We did eliminate a, 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 a roadblock on the certification process for, for nurses, retired, doc, retired nurses and doctors and medical students to allow them to be able to give the, give the vaccinations. But so far we have some spots where we need more people, but as soon as we find out about that, we're able to rush some people in. We uh, received our first call today and we are agreeing to do that. We'll be going to an assisted a living facility um, in Lexington. So that's the first opportunity that we're going to pursue. And then we, we're happy to do that. We've done that with our COVID testing. We go as far away as Anderson to one of the mills. So we're still doing that. We're gonna be testing um, and doing resulting for March Madness for the girls basketball. So we're, we're spreading our wings to help as far and wide as we can. We've even done some resultings from other states. So uh, we're happy to do that. But right now this drive-through for the, um, the, the folks that are in the 1A and 1B category that are eligible, this seems to be a comforting way to get your vaccine because you stay in your own car, perhaps with a caregiver or your spouse or loved one. And it seems like this has been a real good opportunity for folks to get their vaccinations. Uh, my own parents were here last week, they're in their 80s, and they too needed assistance. They don't have two different email addresses. They didn't have just what they need. So we have folks in the tents that can do that for them and make this you know, a smooth vaccination site. And, and, I, and I'll add to that, you know, how can we expand it? We need to expand it here at this site. And so you can help us spread the word. We've got, the way we cone this off, we can do 89 vehicles without having to wait. And so you see the vehicles that are here today. So you can be here 89, we have room for 89 
after they get the vaccination to have the 15 minute wait period. So let's expand this site and then we'll see about going to others. I want this one b bursting at the seams. What's our capacity right now for this site? Well, uh, we, we started slowly and we, you know, did a few the first day and we continue to expand. My goal is to get it to 300 a day. Right now we're at 120, 150, something like that a day. And we're expanding. We just got another load of 1500 first doses just yesterday. And so we wanna, you know, space it where we know that we can get the vaccine and we can administer them. I can tell you that DHEC has been an amazing partner. From the minute we called them, the minute they agreed to do it, we followed the rules, we put in the um, request, and the vaccines have been arriving just as we've requested them. It has been a seamless uh, opportunity. I, I can't tell you how much I've appreciated. From the minute we decided to do a CLIA certified lab, we called DHEC, we asked for permission, we asked what we needed to do. They have helped us from last March when that idea hatched all the way through to now. So DHEC has been a great partner for us. We've been, um, we've been uh, reporting also on other companies like Publix, for example, giving out this vaccine as well. Do you have any customers have reported that the website has been down, they've been experiencing a high you know, traffic online, but in terms of trying to book an appointment from here, can you just speak closer to that for us again and whether I'm anticipating that online traffic is happening? Again? No, the minute I had the idea, the IT team went to work with how best to handle the um, onslaught of either calls or registrations. We use the VAM system, which is expected by DHEC for us to use, and we've seen no problem with it. And I really believe uh, that, and one of the board members, Rick Lee, gave me some pointers from what they were doing in the upstate. And what I believe is really useful to have this younger set that knows how the IT works, and they're there working through this with the, um, the, uh, the patient. We believe, uh, because of the way things work in our state, that legislation to encourage volunteers is not necessary in this. And this is a perfect example of that. And as I mentioned a little earlier, when we, we've had sites at, uh, in, in York County and Charleston County, the, the volunteers just, just flood in. But one of the reasons we are, we're here today is to demonstrate and il illustrate that this can be done. And it, it's easy to do, it takes some thinking, it takes a little coordination, but we are ready, we are ready for that, and this is the answer. There's no way that there will be enough sites to vaccinate everyone who wants to be vaccinated without having sites like this, companies like this, private individuals stepping up and, and playing a part. Yeah, it was a, it was a no-brainer when Lou Kennedy called me and said we've got an opportunity. We got the dirt, and so we provided that. And so right after she told me about this, we left here today. Joe Murgo and old Mr. Fulsom with him, uh, we went straight to the storeroom, and our storeroom guys they they went and they shrink wrapped all of these cones you see, and they got them down here. Our heavy equipment operators came in and put in the jersey barriers. And then our linemen came, and you can see the, the line that they built here, temporary overhead to get over here. So you do this because it's a nat our strength is logistics when we hit the storms. You know, our crews are just finished up being for a week up in Virginia with the ice there. And anytime we're called on in South Carolina, we go. And so this is a natural extension of what our people are willing to do in quick order in order to make things happen. Sometimes it's restoring power. This is restoring confidence and faith in the citizens of South Carolina that tomorrow is going to be a brighter day, no pun intended. Very good. Thank you.